Hello from the physics classroom. I am Mrs. Shaw and I am your son or daughter's physics teacher this year. I'm really excited and looking forward to working with your son or daughter this year. It has been a little bit challenging so far, but we are doing the best we can and making the best of the situation. Your children have been fantastic in class, being patient with the new policies, and some are even trying to learn remotely. In physics this year, we'll cover a variety of topics as this is an introduction to Newtonian mechanics, we mostly focus on mechanics and motion. So we'll look at topics such as vectors, one-dimensional and two-dimensional motion, Newton's laws, circular motion and gravity, work and energy, and then we'll even jump into some static and current electricity concepts as well as sound and light waves, and even dive into some modern and atomic physics. In physics this year, I'll be using the flipped learning framework. So my course is designed such that the students access the content at home and then practice applying the content at school. This allows for more interaction and engagement with their classmates as well as with me. I provide the students with my homemade videos that introduce the students to the concepts. And then when they come back into class, we practice those concepts so that I'm here to help the students with the more difficult or challenging problems. It also allows us to devote class time to applications of content and develop a deeper understanding of the topics we're studying. This also allows me to draw from students' experience. So physics is a very real life science and is very visual and practical. So I often like to draw on students' experience, their hobbies and their interests, to make physics more practical to them. This also allows for more personalized instruction. So if a student understood the content and can practice on their own, fantastic. But if a student struggles with the concepts, then I can offer more individualized instruction to help them develop a better understanding. And it moves the students from being more passive learners in the class, just listening to a lecture, but allows them to be more active in the class. They're working with their peers, they're collaborating, they're having discussion, they're working on hands-on activities, and we're doing so in a meaningful but also safe way. Here is the grading breakdown for physics. 70% of a student's score in physics is determined by summative assessments, so that mostly entails exams. 30% of their score comes from formative assessments, so that includes quizzes for 10% and labs for 20%. As you can see, homework does not appear to make up any percentage of the grade. However, at the end of an interim, quarter, or unit, the homeworks are tallied and a completion percentage is given such that it counts as a double quiz grade. So it's actually tied right in here to 10% of the student's grade. So if a student completes all of their homework assignments, they get a 100% double quiz score. That certainly could help someone out who is struggling in the other categories. If a student only completes 20% of their homework assignments, then they get a 20% double quiz score, and that could potentially hurt a student who normally does well. So the homework, the videos, are a necessary portion of the class. As is required by New York State, each student in this class must complete 1,200 lab minutes. And at this point, some will be in class with safety measures in place, and some will be forced to replace with virtual labs. But nonetheless, students will be putting into practice the content with hands-on simulations or in-class labs. The platform that we are using this year for communication and access to materials is Google Classroom, as this is district policy. Within Google Classroom, students have access to announcements, in-class work, videos, and additional resources. Our remote learners are participating in live instruction every day. So they meet with class at the proper time through a Google Meet. They communicate and collaborate with their peers, both in class discussion and in lab activities. And our remote learners have access to the same materials in Google Classroom. So the in-school learners and the remote learners have access to the same materials and the same instruction at the same time. This will make going fully remote easier in the future if we have to do so. Extra help is available by appointment in a virtual manner through Google Meet 
and is available before and after school as well as during my free periods. Students will just need to see me to set up an appointment. As of right now, New York State is saying that there will be Regents exams and they will be in person. Uh, these Regents exams are required of all students who take physics. This counts as 20% of their overall class grade and there will be plenty of review leading up to the exam, both in class and outside of class. And more information will come on that as we approach the Regents exam. Finally, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or email me at any time. And here is my contact information. You may also request a virtual conference at any point. Just contact me to let me know you would like to do so. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to this year with your son or daughter, and hopefully I get the chance to meet you. I appreciate you taking the time to view my video and find out more about your son or daughter's experience in physics. Thanks so much. Bye.